Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. So glad you're here with us on this Christmas night. And we want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy what we have coming up, which are films that the whole family can enjoy. Next, we have a romantic comedy that's one of the finest examples, if proof was ever needed, that Ginger Rogers could really do a lot more than just dance with Fred Astaire. Our movie is Bachelor Mother from RKO in 1939, and a film that Ginger made just after she and Fred had done their ninth film together, the story of Vernon and Irene Castle, which would be their last on-screen partnership for 10 years. In our movie, Ginger plays a shop girl who finds an abandoned baby, which she immediately takes to a foundling home. The problem is they think Ginger's the child's mother, and from then on, the misunderstandings accelerate. Even Ginger's boss, David Niven, also believes she's the mother, which makes things additionally awkward when the two of them begin falling in love. Now, initially, Ginger had a lot of reservations about the script of this movie, enough doubts about it that she actually wrote a three-page letter to the studio boss at RKO at that time, Pandro Berman, listing each of her complaints. But Berman strongly believed that this was actually the kind of story the public most enjoyed seeing Ginger in at that time, and he told her so. And she listened, and she trusted him. So she did the movie, which turned out to be a really smart move on her part because Bachelor Mother went on to become one of her most popular films and one of RKO's biggest moneymakers in 1939 and far more profitable than the movie she made that same year with Fred Astaire about Vernon and Irene Castle. Ginger at that time more popular with the public when working without Fred Astaire than when they worked together a fact rarely mentioned in the history books today. But here's the movie also with Charles Coburn from 1939 and directed by Garson Kanan, Bachelor Mother. <laughs> 